guys so today I have a January favorites video I've done a lot of testing out things and seeing what works for me I've established some new routines so I just wanted to share some new products that I've been loving and then also just a few new regimens I've put into my life so starting out kind of small um, I've fallen in love with the OPI infinite shine and this is a three-step system didn't know that when I bought this one thing and so it says Infinite Shine 2 on it. I was like, it's the second formula. It's bound to be much better than the first shine. So, no, I was wrong. It's just the second step in their little system. So they do have a primer, which is step one, and then a top coat, which is step three. And so each color that you buy is just step two. It's not the second formula. It's not anything crazy. This I got to say over two weeks. It, I'm not going to lie. It was looking pretty rough after that, but it did stay on my fingernails which I thought was incredible so if you're trying to scrimp a little bit or be a little more budget friendly in the new year I think the full system is right around $30 which is basically the cost of one gel manicure so if you use it over and over like I have so far with this it definitely saves money in the long run another thing this month I've been loving are these Carhartt beanies and you've probably seen them in some of my Instagram posts I just think that they're super casual but obviously still keep me really warm because I live in Indiana and we had a 50 degree day the other day and that was amazing but it's usually pretty chilly. I found these on Amazon when I was looking for kind of stocking stuffer Christmas gifts and I was like ooh they are only $10 and so I had to of course buy myself too because that's what you do when you're Christmas shopping. But at any rate I really like them. I got the just the gray and then I think this one in my mind, it's camel, but I'm not really sure what the legit Carhartt people call it. But yeah, they're only $10 on Amazon, and I wear them all the time. A few fashion favorites. So you guys have probably seen on my Instagram these leggings. <laughs> it's black on charcoal, so this is not going to go super well. Um, but they've got a little lace insert. So it's just like knee slit skinnies, except for they are leggings, and the lace is what makes up the slit in the knee. And other than that, they are, I don't know what this material is, but it's super soft. It almost feels like a fleecy, velour type material, but it washes up really nicely. And I have worn these a lot. And then another one is anything chenille. So I have just fallen head over heels for this material. I got this one for Christmas as, we wore them as pajamas, but it's just a sweater from Gap. And it's a baby pink, and then this one is from Dottie, and it's kind of got like a puffy sleeve, and it's a little more oversized. I wore it as a tunic with those black leggings, and then this one is kind of like a cardigan form, and I wore this just yesterday, and they are just so soft. I don't know why we didn't have this trend, or at least I wasn't partaking before this year, so I am over the moon with anything chenille right now. You can see me in the checkout with something chenille almost always. Another beauty thing that I kind of forgot to grab so I'm not going to show it to you but is Lash Boost and I've been using it since I think I started it in August. At any rate I have always had super sparse eyelashes when I was younger that was kind of one of my nervous habits if I wasn't biting my nails I was picking up my eyelashes because they were hardly there anyway and didn't really make much of a difference and that's also why I always wore a winged liner I haven't been wearing it as much the last few months, if you noticed, uh, by not as much, I mean hardly at all. I don't actually have a single liquid liner in my arsenal currently, just because I feel like I don't have to wear it as much. I have actual eyelashes. I've had a lot of people ask me just on my Instagram what falsies I'm wearing, what mascara I've been using. Nothing has changed other than the Lash Boost. I still use Maybelline the Rocket mascara. So that is what I've been doing with my eyelashes. So then a super random food thing is this tea. And my friend Alex is the one that introduced me to this. But it's the Yogi brand Egyptian licorice. And that sounds positively putrid to me. I am not a licorice person. And I don't really know what Egyptian licorice tastes like at any rate. But this doesn't taste like licorice to me. Um, it says warming and naturally spicy sweet. I guess that's kind of accurate, but I don't think it's spicy. I just think it has a really good flavor to it. I don't really know how to describe it any better than that, which obviously that was a very poor description. But if you see it in the tea aisle anywhere, I highly suggest picking it up. This is the only tea I've gone through consistently. I will have this 
almost every time if I'm going to have tea. It's rare that I switch it up. And then last but not least, I just wanted to share the books that I read in January with you in case you need any recommendations or if you've been reading the same thing you should definitely message me so that we can talk about them. The first one was Magic Hour by Kristen Hanna and I've been just slowly making my way through all of her novels. If you like historical fiction she has The Nightingale and The Winter Garden and then she also writes just regular old fiction novels as well. I read Everything I Never Told You that book was really, really sad, so if you are in any type of a down <laughs> part in your life, I do not suggest that one. It was a good read. I don't think I would read it again, to be completely honest. And then Nora McInerney's book, It's Okay to Cry, Laughing is Fine Too, I think is the title. I became obsessed with her podcast this January, I forgot to mention that, but her podcast is called Terrible Things for Asking, and you will cry, you will laugh a lot because she is exceptionally funny and I wish that we were friends in real life but by following her on Instagram and listening to her podcast and reading her book I feel like we're already friends so if I run into her on the street I'm gonna make her my friend. The book was so good I, I felt like I could hear her talking and if you need any type of upper or you're in a down place and you need someone to commiserate with you, she's been through a lot and she still has a great attitude. So that was definitely a good read for me. And then now I am 60%, according to my Kindle, <laughs> of the way through The 4-Hour Work Week um, by Tim Ferriss. And it's a lot more technical than I thought it would be. But he has some good ideas. I don't really think it would pertain to me in retail so much or a business that does require you to be open and present 40 hours a week or more than that. But it's definitely an interesting perspective and I'm glad that I've been reading it. I will definitely finish it. It's definitely worth reading if you want to go on a crazy entrepreneur's ride through his brain. So then just something personal that I've been working on for 2018 is I got this for my birthday which was in September. For, it's the 30th today so for 30 days I've gotten up at one point in the day I haven't done it every morning like I've been trying to do but that is the aim to get up every morning and start by reading the daily devotional in this and then I kind of journal it out and pray on it or on whatever's weighing on me or anything at all in this journal which my friend Missy got me for Christmas so um, I just kind of date it and then write out my prayers for the day and it's impacted my day much more than I thought it would, I guess. I've been thinking of doing this for a while now, and it's just really hard to start a new habit, but I have made it a point to sit down at some point in the day. It does not take long to fill out one page of a prayer, at least not for me. There's plenty to pray on in my mind. It starts my day with a little more purpose than just rolling over at the sound of my alarm, grabbing my phone, checking Instagram, email, Facebook, messages, etc. This gets my mind started at a slower but much more beneficial pace. If anyone needs a recommendation for a devotional, I really enjoyed this one. And it is New Morning Mercies by Paul David Tripp. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did and you want to see more favorite videos, let me know. And leave any other video recommendations that you'd like to see. I have some styling videos coming up, but whatever you want to see, let me know. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!